guys, it's Ashley, and for this video, I'll be doing a quick walkthrough tutorial of how I did my Dean Winchester from Supernatural drawing. I've been watching Supernatural for ages now, and I absolutely love it, so it's definitely one of my favourite TV shows, and I have for some time wanted to draw Dean, or even like Sam or Cass, so I am glad that I finally got around to doing it. So with this video, I started off using a HB pencil to map out what I wanted it to look like. I then erased it lightly so that the outlines were barely visible as I didn't want the graphite to mix with the prism colours when colouring. And then from there, I started with the eyes. For the eyes, they were a greyish green, so in the drawing I did make them a bit more greener by using dark green and apple green. And then with olive green and ginger, I used that to bring in those grey tones with white and black as well. Jens and Ackles eyes are actually amazing. I think they're a hazel, but they come up as green and grey. I mean, as well as brown, but that's um, normal for those with hazel eyes, but it does look amazing. With the drawing, I did it so that there was a strong contrast with the shadows and highlights. The reference photo of Dean had something like that in there, and I just intensified that so the shadows and highlights, especially on his face, are quite heavy. Where the left hand side of his face has strong highlights on the edges which had a yellow glow mixed in with it and this is contrasted by the strong shadows on the rest of the left hand side of the face whereas the right hand side of the face is quite highlighted from the lighting and from this you can definitely see that there are the dark shadows casted from the left of his nose. I did this mainly using sapia mixed with 50% French grey as well as using beige and ginger to maintain the look of his skin tone in the midst of those shadows. With the stubble on the face, I used a mix of sapia, black and 50% French grey. I used the black and sapia where I wanted it to be more darker, so that was particularly around the edges of the jawline. And I did this by using um, a combination of dotting down the hairs, mainly with sapia and French grey, to create that shadow and then as well drawing small lines in a downwards motion in the directions the hairs would be going down the face. So just like really small flicks as the hairs aren't too long and you want it to look still look realistic. I also use this in combination with white, beige and peach depending on which part of the face it was, especially if I wanted to blend the stubble down to give it a more natural look. You can also use any of these colours if you've placed the black or sapia or like French grey hairs too close and it's created a mound of colour that's just creating a shadow that you don't want. So just go in between with white or beige and again with those small downward flicks of like creating hairs with the white or beige and this will just help make it look more realistic and break that down. With his jacket, it had a zip, so for me the most efficient manner that still keeps it realistic was to draw the blocks first so that the metal parts of the zip that jut out, so just those in gold. And then from this, I just used gold to fill in half the block closest to the fabric of the jacket, so that's the part of the zip that's actually attached. And then for the other half, I just used white, um, so that's the highlight, and blended that in. Also, if you wanted to intensify the highlight, you can also use a white gel pen to dot on the end. And then from there, um, just fill in the gaps with black. For his hair, I used a combination of sapia, 50% French grey, chocolate, dark umber, sienna brown, uh, ginger beige, as well as white and black. With the right hand part of the hair, the darker colours were on the outside and then I formed a gradient, primarily beige as a highlight colour as well as white and then sienna brown and umber were also used to create this. Um, from there I went over that with mainly sapia and black but also chocolate to form the parting of the hair as well as the strands of hair. The left hand side was done similarly, however it was styled in the front upwards so I just curved those hair parts upwards and highlighted with ginger and beige in those parts. For the rest of his jacket, I used mainly 50% cool grey as well as 20% cool grey and black and just blended those together. For the left hand side of the jacket, on the corner, I had planned to create the yellow glow similar to his face, however I had initially drawn the left hand side a tad bit narrow, as when I'm drawing it on camera, it is at a downward angle, so it is a bit awkward but definitely worth it, as otherwise you guys would definitely be seeing the back of my head for most of the video. And I did fix that up by making it a bit more broader, but ultimately I wasn't ha really happy with how it was. 
As the white and yellow strips on the jacket needed to be less sharp for the board, border shoulder, so more horizontal for how I did it. So I ended up deciding to go over that and just keep it black mixed with 50% cool grey. If you want, you can do the yellow glow, I think it would definitely add an interesting element to the drawing. However, ensure the shoulders are bored, though otherwise, personally, I found it looked awkward. For the background, I just used a combination of black, sepia, dark green, olive green, French grey, as well as 20% cool green, grey, to create a gradient that was darker on the outside and rounded towards the centre around his head. Initially, I wasn't going to use the green and just stick with a neutral tone, but I felt the green would look good with his eyes and complement them, and I do think it did work out well. So that's the finished drawing and the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed and it was helpful. Please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at AshleySaz0 for my other artworks, and be sure to check out my previous drawing tutorials on my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.